Well, hello and welcome. And in today's hopefully short video, I shall be describing and demonstrating the what I consider the correct way to weld a bandsaw blade on a on a dual bandsaw blade welder. Now, uh, there are at least twelve videos on YouTube that I've watched uh, where they are so-called supposedly telling you the correct way of doing it. And in my opinion, uh, at least 60% of them are total garbage, and the other 40% are only partially correct. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll make this video and uh, you know, tell you to, uh, you know, demonstrate the, the way that I've been doing it for the last 50 or over 50 years. So uh, here we go. Now, back in the 1970s, when I just finished my apprenticeship at uh, Phillips in England. Um, I was out in the main workshop and there was all oh, at least at least 80 odd um, technicians out there and they also had a, um, a for shop use a, a great big dual bandsaw now anybody could use that you could just uh, you know you just turn up you know cut your aluminium sheet or, or what it was you know you you used it you dusted it down switched it off and, and left it for the next person now several of the technicians decided that they uh, they would like to use um, you know, keep their own for personal use. Um, their own, their own bandsaw. So you just went to the stores and you and you and you drew out the appropriate lengths, um, went over there, welded it, and um, uh, you know took the original blade off, put your blade on, done the job. When you were finished, take your blade off, put the other one back on, and, and everybody was happy. Now, um, of the uh, people that were doing it, um, a lot of them were were not. Um, Two o five in 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 the uh, in, in in welding the blades. I mean, some of them were, were no problems at all. But I mean, quite often you think, oh hello, somebody's going to put a blade on. You could see the cover up in the machine. You hear the you hear the grinder going. Um, you know, they put the blade on, shut it down, start it up, and it'd be a great big bang. And of course, we'd all cheer, we you know. Hoo -hoo. So of course, a bit embarrassed. So they, you know, they they'd have a second go. And sometimes that would uh, that would fail as well. Now sometimes people would give up then, but there, there were others that would perhaps have three or four goes before they'd come over to me. Now by then, of course, I was I was um, I was the the, the shop um, uh, machine tool fitter or millwright as, as, as known in other places. And they'd come over to me and they'd say, Dave, Dave, there's something the matter with that blade welder. It keeps breaking the blade. So of course I'd go over there and uh, and <laughs> show them how to do it and. Uh, and, and all was well. Now I can honestly say, in, in, in the over 50 years that I've been welding blades, I could count on one hand the number of times that the blade has actually failed due, due to my bad weld. So, um, you know, I do know what I'm talking about, but uh, obviously if you've, uh, if you've got another, well, after you've watched this, if you've, if you've got another uh, method that seems to work for you, we'll, we'll carry on and please be free. Right, so enough of this uh, nattering. Let's uh, go outside to the, uh, where the bandsaw is, and I'll show you how I how I weld a bandsaw bandsaw blades. See you go in a moment. Bye. Well, here we are. This is the uh, the, the, the 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 bandsaw. Um, it's 1942. It's a uh, 1216. That means it's it's 12 inches here, 16 between there and there, and it's uh, it contours, which means that the table can tip this way as well as the other way. And over here, this is the this is the inbuilt. Um, blade welder which I should be using to uh, to join the blades. The purpose of this exercise, I, sh I shan't be welding a whole blade, I've just got just got two uh, short pieces that I shall be uh, attempting to join together, well hopefully successfully joining together. Now the correct way of, of uh, these, these ends, because it's a because it's a butt weld, um, the, the ends of the blade must absolutely be, be, be dead in line with each other because because that's how it works you've got to put a pressure on it and and it welds so um ideally um you you, you see people just doing them individually but the, but the correct way of doing it is is is, is that you get uh, you, you you reverse the blade round on one side so that what you you put it together and then so that you've actually got um the teeth on on opposing sizes on, on sides and then you actually grip it and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using my um belt sander just to clear the end up so there'll be a bit of a noise for a moment. <coughs> So 
what we, <coughs> what we now have here is, 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 is both the ends are, are, you're probably not seeing this too well, but, but they're absolutely uh, smooth and in line. Now, the idea of this is, be, 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 because I've turned it 180 degrees, um, it doesn't matter, you know, if I'm, you know, I've got ground this at one degree, three degrees, four degrees, whatever it is, when you actually turn the two over and line them up again, um, it actually, it, it, it'll actually, uh, it'll actually line up, line up perfectly. So, um, what we've got to do now is to, uh, is to set this up in the, uh, in the world itself. So, bear with me while I uh, set it up, and I'll, uh, I'll get you in a lot closer, so we can actually see what's, uh, what's going on. See you again in a moment. So, uh, what we have to do now is to uh, place this blade under there, and, and there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a machine stop. So, make sure it's push the ball back against it and uh, you need it about halfway so excuse the fingers that goes in there like that and we put the one in the other side and uh, make sure that it's it's uh, pushed up tight and against the the back edge so that it's there and tighten it down no, that's not quite I've moved that it's trying to work around the camera right now it moves when I tighten it up important to spend uh, you know just 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 a, just a few seconds to make sure that this is right so this this determines on on how good the uh, how good the the world's going to turn out right we seem to be right now what we've got to do is is to, is to turn it on you'll you'll hear the grinder start up it's all part of the circuit and then i'm going to push the uh there's a green lever above here i'm going to push that down and we should we should see it world no failure <laughs> Oh well, it wasn't uh, wasn't pushed up tight enough. Sorry about that. See, it's oh, trouble trying to, trying to work around the camera. Right. Let's try adjusting the other one. Oh, right, that's better. That's better. I can actually see it touching now. Right. I think there must be a burr or something on, on that other jaw. Right, I'm going to push the lever down and it should weld. Here we are. Job done. Yes, and we have a uh, we have a quite a decent world. You can see there's there's there's, there's quite a there's quite a lump on both sides um, that we've now got to uh, we've now got to remove. Now, in a lot of the other videos, um, you see people um, annealing it straight away, glowing it up red hot a couple of times, and then and then uh, and then grind it afterwards. Uh, in my opinion, that's not the correct way to do it. So what I'm actually going to do now is is I need to need to grind this off. And when you grind it, only grind the world and not the teeth. You see, you see a lot of people um, in the other videos. They're 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 going backwards and forwards this, backwards and forwards across the world. And of course, all you're doing is you're removing the, the set on the teeth. So what I'm going to do now is is to uh, is to put the, hopefully put the camera back on the tripod, and then I'll go down and uh, grind this off. Back in a moment. Right, now I'm going to attempt to grind this. Now, unfortunately, it's said I'm, I'm restricted for space. Um, I'm going to try and attempt to do this. I've, I've got the camera handheld, so the idea is, is, is that you, you've, got to get the, you've, got, you've got to get this um, uh, on here and absolutely grind the, grind it back and forth to remove the, the weld on both sides. And likewise, I mean, it's, 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 it's not complete at the moment. I said this is very helpful trying to do it on, on, on um, with a hand, it's on work one handed. Now, the other idea is, it, 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 not the other idea, but the other thing is, this being a double sided wheel, it then allows you to do the other side of the blade without having to turn it inside out. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, grind the blade uh, off camera and I'll, I'll be back to you soon. Right, so here we are. The blades um, ground, uh, nice and shiny on this side as well as the other side. And no, well you might be able to break that out, but the teeth aren't touched. You know the grinding has been stuck, uh, stopped short at, at, at the gusset of the uh, of, of the of the tooth depth. 
So what we've got to do now is is to uh, put it back up into into here and do the annealing. So uh, bear with me again. Sorry, I'm to keep stopping and start, but uh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. So here it is now, clamped back in again. Now this time I've got to push the kneel button. Now when you see other videos, they, they push it until it glows bright red and, and let it cool down, and bright red, let it cool down. Total waste of time. This is what we've got to do. Because because the blade, all the blade needs to be done is is, is just a kneel to, to, to a blue colour. So I'm going to jab at the button. Right, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, so you can see it. And I can see it. So you push it, you push it, you push it. So you start to smoke a little bit, so you know it's starting to heat. So you see it's starting to heat. So you keep pushing it until it goes. There we are. Starting to go, start to go blue. There we are. That's now that's our deal. Now what I also do um, is to uh, slacken this off. Move it quarter inch or so to the right, clamp it up again, press the new button again to make the to make the blue go a bit further along. And it's just starting to do it there we are, it's there we are, just see that just gone below and likewise move it a oh, quarter an inch the other way and do the other side. There we are, nice and blow. There we are, job done. I'll turn the grinder off and uh, look at a bit of peace and quiet. Now the other thing that I neglected to, to show you when grinding it is, is that down here, down here, this, 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 this is this is a thickness gauge. Um, when you when you when you're grinding it, the idea is is that uh, you know that you check that the blade fits within right there. And there we are. That's it. That's it done. The other thing you just want to check is to make sure that you haven't got a little lump on the back there. And if you, if you have, just 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 rub it with a file. So um, I hope that's uh, demonstrated that bit too. Now, I, I suppose you want to see that, uh, make sure that it doesn't break. So bear with me while I um, uh, put the camera down because I say I can't bend it and operate the camera at the same time. Now this, this band saw has got something like an 18 inch wheel on it. So what I'm going to do now is just, just, just to prove that it's okay, is to flex the blade. See, it's all, you know, that's 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 a that's a much that's a much smaller radius than it's likely to go down the wheel. So there we are. Um, good job. So I think what we we'll do now is is uh, go back inside and we'll conclude this video and uh, and get it published. So uh, see you indoors in a moment. Bye. Ah, oh, so there we are. I hope you uh, you found that of interest. And 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 as I say, that is. That is that is the way that I consider that is, is the correct way to do it. But, you know, if you've got another way and it works well for you, well, well, carry on. You know, it, it's uh, each into their own. So uh, once again, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and, and ring the bell to get notifications. And uh, until the next video, wherever you happen to be in the world, please stay safe, well and happy, and catch you on the next one. Bye.